Hallelujah. Shout a Jericho destroying. Hallelujah. Let's rise to our feet and sing this song loud and clear. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you reign my life. I'm so glad you reign my life. I'm so glad you came to save me. I'm so glad you came to save me. You came from time like this before you and we thank you for your children that you have brought for this program we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus father I pray that by the power of resurrection your anointing and power will fall upon your children in the name of Jesus any agenda of darkness for your life is Cancelled now by the power in the blood of Jesus. With a loud amen, every plantation of darkness in your life is scattered now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are looking at what I call when God uses the enemy. When God uses the enemy. In Psalm 3. Psalm number 3. 3. Psalm 3. Lord. How are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be we say of my soul. There is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry unto the Lord with my voice. And he had me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked. For the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people. That have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord. Save me, O oh my God. For thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbones. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Listen very carefully, beloved. Obstacles are forerunners of miracles. Opposition, although many people don't like it, they season you for your position. Opposition fully prepares you to prepare for your own manifestation of good things. Every man whether you like it or not whether you believe it or not you will have an enemy the only man who has no enemy in this life is an idiot every man is entitled to an enemy in fact if you have no enemy it is good for you to write an application to heaven to supply you with one because the enemy will reveal to you really who you are. The enemy will reveal to you the hardness of your own heart. The enemy will reveal to you the wickedness of your own heart. 
all the unfeeling, uncaring attitude in your life, the enemy will make you to will make it to manifest to show. Maybe you're a pastor. You need somebody who will be criticizing you and talking against you. But all the same, you must love them and appreciate them. Because they, they make you to fall down on your knees and pray. So technically, problems are access to life. Because any way that has no obstacle leads to nowhere. If you don't have an enemy contesting with you, you don't have any problem confronting you, it shows that God has forgotten you and Satan too has rejected you. It means you have been given a red card to depart from the field of play of human beings. Many do not like it, but we grow through challenges. They move you from class to class. When you pass from one class, they move you to another class. We grow through challenges. We grow through problems. Some students need that teacher who does not want to see them around at all. Some need the lecturer who say you not pass this course. Some lecturers need the student who will challenge them in class. You are a singer, you need somebody who will be finding fault with what you are singing. You are a servant, you need a master who will never get satisfied with your efforts and energy and hard work. You need all these people, they will make you get down on your knees and pray and seek for divine intervention. So problems help you to fortify your wall. It makes you to fortify your wall of defense. It solidifies your strategy to attack. If you say your wife is a wicked woman, let her wickedness turn your life around and improve your prayer life so that you can bring her to a place where she will no longer be a wicked woman but a caring woman. So right there where you are, your problem can be your crutches or it can be your wings. So don't use those problems as an excuse to remain where you are. Let those problems become wings that will move you higher. So there is value in enemies, beloved. The enemies will keep you focused. Those enemies, they signal to others that, that you are worth paying attention to. Because if no enemy is fighting, it means that you're a useless person, you're not contributing to anything, they, they, you are, they can ignore you and nothing happens. Your enemies will make you a subject of positive controversy. So really, beloved, an enemy makes you a better person. We need the enemy to challenge our lives. The enemy will launch you into action. The enemy keeps you on your knees. Then the enemy inspires your creativity and imagination. So if as a Christian, you begin to look at things from every perspective, I begin to look at what is written in Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. If you believe these scriptures, the enemies are not really enemies. They are actually some of the best friends. So what is actually, what they are actually doing to hurt you? 
will actually help you to bring out the work of grace in you which could not have taken place using any other method when a supposed enemy attacks you God exposes some parts in your own sinful heart he exposes some desire in your inner heart that needs to be addressed there are always lessons to learn in the crucible of adversity in the boxing ring of adversity in the boxing ring of pain and difficulty there are lessons you should learn and God uses those who perceive as enemies to expose things that you otherwise will not have paid attention to so that enemy may actually be an emissary from God because without people doing what they think will hurt you or will destroy you you'll never be able to find a way to be more like Jesus so enemies are a required part of you being holy look at Exodus chapter 1 verse 12 Exodus 1 12 Exodus chapter 1 verse 12 this is a very interesting passage so, but the more they afflicted them the more they multiplied and grew the more they afflicted them the more they multiplied and grew and they were grieved because of the children of Israel God can use our enemies to bless us too without Goliath David will never have gotten to the throne so God can use your critics the people that are trying to push you down to promote you I decree upon your life that your problem shall become your promotion by the power in the blood of Jesus your problem shall become your promotion by the power in the blood of Jesus your problems shall become your promotion by the power in the blood of Jesus so technically Goliath was created for the purpose of David just as God will organize divine connection for you there will be people who will try to stop you but that Goliath that was sent to come across your path really wasn't wasn't sent to stop you but to establish you David said God prepares a table for us for me for you in the presence of the enemies in the presence of the enemies God does the miracles in the presence of the enemy he does it in their fronts some of the things we don't like wouldn't reach our highest potential some of the things we don't like that are in our lives wouldn't make us to reach our highest potential if God does not remove it now by exposing it so God strategically places Judas he places Goliath he places Herod he places Aman he places Pharaoh God can use your critics your enemies your die hard enemy to promote you that's why I'm prophesying upon your life at every a man assigned to hang you shall hang on their own tree in the name of Jesus God knows how to take what is meant for you from the enemy and give it back to you God knows how to take what is meant to harm you too and use it to your advantage something you think is there to destroy you 
God can use it to push you to your next level. So that the more opposition you have, the more you increase. The more opposition you have, the more you increase. You may not like it. It may be completely un uncomfortable. Because it's a very difficult time. But one day, you will look back and talk like the psalmist that it was good that I was afflicted so that I may be wise. The enemy will not defeat you. The enemy will be used to promote you instead. Even Jesus had enemies. He always had enemies. An uncommon achiever will always have uncommon adversaries. Because in this life, the common, they resent the uncommon, the unrighteous, they despise the righteous, the impure, they despise the pure, the unholy, they despise the holy, the lazy ones. They despise the diligent ones. And the Bible makes it clear to us. Whether I will believe you, you don't believe it. So behold, I'll send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. There are times some ministers came to my office, and after they finished talking, they said, Joe, can we pray with you? I said, Yes, thank you so much. So they prayed, and one of them began to prophesy. And he said, My son, my son, my son, I just want you to know that you are surrounded by enemies. You have to be very careful. You have to be very prayerful. My son, my son, my son. They are surrounded by enemies. When he had finished the prophecy, I see my brother. That is not a prophecy. The Bible already told me. In Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. It says, Behold, I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So I know that I am in the midst of wolves. You don't have to tell me. So the enemy is a natural and necessary part of life. That enemy provides God an opportunity to reveal his commitment to you. When you are now facing an uncommon enemy, you need an uncommon wisdom. That's why the Bible says, if any lack wisdom, let him ask God who gives liberally and without reproach. The Holy Spirit is more powerful than any enemy you will ever face. Because the Bible says, greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Your enemy will always try to attack you when a new thing is about to be given birth in your life. That your enemy is an announcement from God. That your present season has come to a conclusion and your next shift is coming. The entrance of Goliath marked David's shift from being a shepherd boy to a valiant warrior. It shifted him. When Goliath came along the line, there was a shift to move David to the next level. Your enemy unleashes your imagination. When Pharaoh increased the pain and the burden of Israel, they began to picture the future. They began to picture the future 
and how they wanted their lives to be the promised land became a new target so the pain you are going to in the present is necessary for you to give back to the dream God is developing for you later. Those enemies sometimes they expose your weaknesses. And when you are aware of your weaknesses, it's bad humility in your life. Humility is a magnet that attracts God and angels. Your enemy reveals your limitations. When you begin to realize your limitations, you begin to look for solution. Whatever you lack, God has studied somewhere. When your enemy comes, it is a, it sometimes exhausts your strength. So you have now to be creative. You will be launched into having creative ideas to overcome and then you begin to search for heavenly treasures that will help you your enemy is a door it's not a wall your door to your next season it happened to Esther a man was an enemy wanting to destroy the Jews it happened to Daniel it happened to Job it can happen for your elevation and increase. Beloved, the truth is this. The only true difference between a nobody and somebody is the enemy they decide to conquer. In 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 6 and 7, 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 6 and 7 I decree upon your life that your problem shall become your promotion and every enemy assigned to disgrace you shall be disgraced and they shall witness your celebration in 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 6 and it came to pass as it came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistine that the woman came out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tablets with joy and with instruments of music and the woman answered one another as they played and said Saul has slain his thousands and David is 10,000. So the only true difference between a nobody and somebody is the enemy they decided to conquer. Your enemy is the difference between obscurity and significance. That's, that's what we just read about David and Goliath. Therefore, it is safe to say that the size of your enemy determines the size of your rewards. The size of your enemy determines the size of your rewards. Your enemy will force all the Judas that are hiding in your life to reveal themselves. And that Judas is not an enemy, I tell you. Everybody has a Judas. Judas are intimidated by you. They walk undercover. They betray you behind your back. Judas represents the love and loyalty expressed by others towards you. It, sounds, it represents that when they, that love and loyalty is being resented. When they are resenting that love and loyalty, that's what Judas stands for. A Judas is someone who believes your enemy has a right to be hard. A Judas plays one role before your friend and one role 
in the presence of your enemies. And when your enemy enters, he will go and bond with the Judas. But your Judas will be exposed quickly when your enemy bonds with them. You know, this is the Judas in the camp. Your enemy will sometimes cause good people to find you. Many times, ministers, men of God, and talented people, they are unnoticed and unrecognized. But during a season of attack, people who can discern the truth become aware of them. The reaction of your enemies is a proof of your progress. And when your enemies become very anxious, it means that your, his time is limited. Those enemies will ultimately reveal the greatness of God in your life. So enemies are bridges, not barricades. They are doors, not walls. Understand this very well. A lot of people tremble when they encounter enemies in their lives. But you must trust the Lord and know that your God is greater than every enemy. You must trust the Lord and learn to say God is greater than all enemies. You must learn to say greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You must learn to recognize that sometimes God uses your enemy to make you advance your destiny. It is not only your friends who can help you. You can be helped by an enemy. In fact, sometimes the enemy brings out the best out of you. Your enemies will do what your friends cannot do. So begin to see the enemy in a different light. All things work together for good to those who love God and those who are appointed according to his purpose. So not only will you overcome your enemies, but those enemies will be used to make you into a greater person. Jesus was helped by the disloyalty and treachery of Judas. Jesus was pushed to the cross by the jealousy of the Pharisees. Moses was helped by the stubbornness of Pharaoh. Joseph was helped by the wickedness of his brothers. Paul was helped by the wickedness of the Jews. Paul was helped by the buffeting of Satan against him. David was helped by the demon possessed and backsliding king called Saul. Saul made him to become the anointed psalmist. Daniel was helped by the accusation of the princes and president of Dairos kingdom. Job was helped by the destructive attacks of Satan to become twice as rich as he was. I'm praying for somebody listening to me today that your enemies shall become your promotion. Your problems shall become your promotion. The Lord will move you from strength to sin and from glory to glory. You say, what do I do now? You need to make God your friend by surrendering your life to Jesus. You need to repent from every known sin. You need to encourage yourself in the Lord. And don't allow the enemy to discourage you. You need to fight a good fight of faith. And be a battle axe in the hand of the master. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are here, you have listened to me now. And you are not born again.
You need to surrender your life to Jesus. For right there where you are, raise up your right hand and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life, as from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, the ushers, the counselors will meet, at, will meet with you. Or you can see our number on your screen too, so that you can contact us. It is time to pray now. And pray like a man or woman from another world. Pray the way you've never prayed before. Amen. You will shout this prayer. Okay, we go do like strong man. In Jesus name we pray. Lord Jesus, like Badura. Please, your please, your concentrate. For concentrate, that concentration is important. Let your body, your soul, and your spirit be here right now. Every good thing. My life requires. Kaye minilo. Oh, heavens! Eyaru. Bombard me with them. Eyaru. In the name of Jesus. Jesu. Masikato nikaya boshento. Every good thing that my life requires. Oh, heavens! Bombard me with them. Eyaru. Eyaru. Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus. Powers. I got holding tight to my full scale laughter. God dear, could I hear your mimushin? Can you shout this laugh? It goes okay. Da! In the name of Jesus. Lord God Jesus. But captain the kaya will shun the rabo konta. Nitu asaya boko. Command the powers to die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is important. Pass that has swallowed my honor. Vomit them now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Venom of serpent and scorpion. Come out of my body. Yes, venom of serpent and scorpion. Come out of my body now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that wants me to die, die in my place. In the name of Jesus. It is a decree of heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank 
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers! Mocking my faith. Don't by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Down pot of witchcraft. Assign against me. The one you are deceiving. Break my fall. In the name of Jesus. 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 Command the pot to be broken. Ma cheki koko wofo. Ma katenda ya bo shende ra bo kopora katenda ya bo. Break my fire. Fall the pot now. In Jesus' name we pray. Lordu ko Jesus la badura. Angels of deliverance. A young girl to see Locate me now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Angels of deliverance. Locate me now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Of wicked elders, Iko Kwawa Baika, break for in the name of Jesus, Yoruko Jesu, cauldron of wicked elders, break in the name of Jesus, for Yoruko Jesu, Mokatenda Yabo Shendera Boko Center, in Jesus' name we pray, Yoruko Jesu, Labadura. Powers that want me to walk on my knees. This is a serious prayer. Powers that want you to walk on my knees. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. This is not a night of negotiation. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. Jesus. Calling me evil names. Don't pay me, Lord, who I be. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Powers calling me evil names. Command them to die in the I name of Jesus. 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 Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I snatch the wicked cauldron from the enemy. I smash it to pieces in the name of Jesus. Can I hear the sister shouting that? Brothers, can I hear you shouting the same thing? together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. Something is going on here tonight. This is not a night that negotiates. Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray Lord we call Jesus la gbadura can you say arrows from the cauldron Some people are going to experience 24 hour breakthrough. I want for you need it. Alaja only walk at the man in the low hours breakthrough. Alaja walk at the make it in a daughter. Depending on how you pray this particular prayer, Odalori be one by Jake Badura to open you. Altar of satanic delay. Bye bye, Danny Buru. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. The altar of satanic delay. Open Pepe, Danny, do not catch fire, catch fire. Jono. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, we call Jesus, like Badura. Water of confusion. Oh, me, Daruda, swallow my enemies. Where I want to me. In the name of Jesus. Jesus.
Che. To be swallowed. The word to be baby. By the water of confusion. Destiny robbers. Destiny robbers. Hear the word of the Lord. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. This is not a night to negotiate. But Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Before we continue the rest of our prayers, Father, we thank you for the thanks and the offering for this meeting. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We listen to this music meeting. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Let's bring out our mana water now. And let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift up our water unto you. Father, let the angel that you shall trouble the water of Bethesda. And the water heals anyone who got in. Let the same angel trouble this water in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, overshadow this water. Let the authority of ease, authority of power, authority of deliverance, authority of breakthrough, authority of prosperity, flow into this water in the name of Jesus. Let the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ flow into the water in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. All the prayer requests are, oh Lord, answer them, my Father. Lord, I decree by the decree of heaven that as many as we drink this particular manner water, any evil consequence of any concussion that the person has been taking, let this water nullify them in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. Every cauldron prisoner. Hear yeah, the word of the Lord. By the power in the blood of 
Jesus. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us share the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven, go, destroy, hallelujah, let's go.